I still think I'm, I'm very young at heart. It, it's very easy for me to forget sometimes when I'm, I'm mingling with people. The vast majority of them are in the 20s, uh, that I'm no longer in my 20s. And some people would say it's, uh, it's about time that I started behaving like I was no longer in my 20s. I mean, it's, it's just the fact that I'm still living in Paris. Um, I'm still single. I'm still part of the bar scene. Um, I still close the bars down at uh, 2 a.m. Not most nights, but um, certainly more than once or twice a week. Um, and anything else beyond that is confidential. We do a little magazine called Funky Maps and one of the things that we wanted to put in there was a, a pub crawl. I mean Funky Maps has been going for, for 12 years I think. It's, it's very very popular and very well known in Paris. It's a, it's a very easy lifestyle um, and it still continues to make relatively good money with uh, relatively little input. So we do 10,000 copies every month and we distribute in nearly 400 places across the city. But um, we actually started off more as a general entertainment uh, guide and uh, it was the pubs that were by far the easiest sales. This was what I carried around to all of the bars, showing them an example of what a funky map would look like. So that's the very first ever, show you what it there, the very first ever market for the funky maps. Uh, I mean, I think it helped in the fact that I, I knew a lot of the bars, so they were very happy to see me and talk to me. But, more and more French in, in pubs and especially here. Before there were a lot of, uh, let's say, Scottish or English or um, uh, anglo -Fans. What What's appealing with, you know, the Anglo-Saxon kind of pub culture? Because of the atmosphere. I would say because of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is good, people are, are nice and you can talk to people in a pub, not in a French cafe. I first came to Paris Oh, I don't know now, something like 18 years ago, I was working for North Home Networks, a telecom company, and we, uh, we did a joint venture with Matra, another telecom company, and they decided to move the, uh, the headquarters to Paris. I think mainly because most of the executives' wives wanted to spend a couple of years living in Paris. And uh, I've been here ever since. I certainly never envisaged having anything to do with uh, funky maps or pub crawls whatsoever. Um, I think the first career that I, I ever thought of doing was, uh, was to be a teacher. Um, however, unfortunately, teachers aren't paid um, one-tenth of what they're worth, so that was never going to happen. I mean, there's, there's lots of advantages of having your own business. There's uh, a lot of freedom, uh, a lot of freedom to do, be very, very successful, and a lot of freedom to, uh, to make a lot of mistakes as well. So there's, there's an upside and a downside. I mean, Funky Maps has been going for, for 12 years, I think. It's, it's very, very popular and very well known in Paris. It's a, it's a very easy lifestyle. Um, and it still continues to make relatively good money with uh, relatively little input. Is the weather is still not really dark yet. It was a part-time job while I was looking for my real job. So you, you have nights where you have a, an easy group and it's, it's easy, people are fun and they get along well and then there's other times where you have people who don't speak to each other and that's the hard part, like getting them to mingle. Met John King in September 2014 and he called me and asked me to come for an interview which, were, which took place in the hub. That's when I met him. My relationship with John King is like cats and dogs. We argue, we quarrel, but yeah, we can still work together. Let's hug it out, let's hug it out, ready? On the other side, not the lips, not the lips. If you had to describe John King in three words, what words would you use? Grumpy, weird sense of humour, slob. I'm so fine. <laughs> don't, you, don't you think we'd make a wonderful couple? <laughs> I enjoy living here, I enjoy many aspects of it. But do I feel truly integrated? I, I, I don't think so. I mean, I don't watch the French news, I don't read a French newspaper, I don't really know what's happening in Paris. It's the path of least resistance. It's, um, it's, you have your friends, you go to the bar and meet them and, and they tend to uh, gravitate to ex expat bars.
you never truly relax when you're in the bar. There's always part of you that's thinking it's it's still work related. I think in my in my next career or my next lifetime, I would certainly not choose to have a um, a business that's uh, bar orientated.